In this lesson, we'll make some minor adjustments to our lighting, and we'll also set up our circuit for the utility room. Okay, so now that I have mostly everything in place, um, we can go ahead and establish a circuit or intelligent relationship amongst all these elements, but I want to make a few changes to this design. Um, let's adjust the type of lighting we have in here. So I'm going to select these three lights, and under my parabolic, I would like to... Let's go ahead and load in a new family. We'll load in maybe the 2x2. Two two. Those will actually fit better into our design here. You could tell with these lightings, uh, these parabolic lights that we have in place, they're actually going across our grid. Uh, it's going to require a lot of customization on our part. So I'm simply going to go to Load Family again, and we're going to go to Lighting really quick. Architectural, Interior, and let's load our 2x4 parabolic lighting. I think that'll fit in our system a lot better. So now that I have that, I can select any of these. And from my drop down, we should be able to select a 2x2, two two, 120 volt. That'll work with our panel here. And we can make some adjustments. So I'm going to really quickly move these lights so that they do fit nicely in that grid. So take our first one and simply move it over like so. I'm going to type in TL really quick to thin my lines. It will help me with the precision of placing these elements. So again, I'll grab the corner here and adjust. And I'll do the same thing to the rest of these lights here. So I'll grab it at this corner here, and we'll bring him right about there. Get a nice, more even light distribution. And we'll place this one directly above our breaker here. So I'll grab that, and I will move this one as well. Okay, so now that I'm happy with what we have in place, let's see how we can set up the circuit for this particular room. So the first thing I need to do is make a decision. Do I want to start my circuit with my receptacles or the lighting? We'll, we'll start with the lighting. So I can select one light or multiple lights. So we'll do multiple lights and, we'll, and then we'll add one more to it just so we can see how it works with multiple and we can see how we can add in case we had, needed to add something a little bit later. So I'm going to select multiple my first two lights here. And to establish a uh, create a circuit, we need to work with this power button. And this is power button located here. And this will create a circuit for all of our electrical devices. So once I click that, you'll notice the two lights that we have highlighted are now inside this box. That lets me know that there is a circuit established between here. And when I scroll in, you can actually see this dashed or hidden line, and that represents the wiring. So that lets me know that this light and this light are connected on the same circuit. So what if I have other elements that I'd like to add to that lighting circuit? Well, really easy to do. So we can either edit the circuit once we highlight it, and now I can add two circuits. So let's say we wanted to add this light to that circuit. We can do so by selecting it. So now we need to power this circuit that we have in place. So now all I need to do is select panel. And that panel that we have is this panel. And immediately I get a warning sign. And this is just because anytime you're setting up your circuit system and you're adding your panel, you must specify a distribution system. Now in the first lesson, we talked a little bit about the type of distribution we're going to need. And that's going to be a 120 over 240, meaning our circuit here can have, or our breaker can handle anything that's 120 to 240 volts uh, without causing risk of fire or frying any appliances. So I can X out of this warning here, and that's not a problem at all. So what I'll do is I'll X out of this circuit system that we're setting up, and we'll highlight and select our panel. And then from the drop down underneath our options bar here, we have distribution system. I can go to that distribution system, and now we make the selection. And again, we want to make sure we select the right one. We don't want to overload our panel. So we don't want to go with our 120 over 208. As I mentioned, we want to go with the 120 over 240. So now that I have that in place, I can now select all my lighting here. Let's say uh, I could select any one of the lights that we have in place, and I can tab that. And once you hit tab, it shows that relationship, that circuit relationships that we established. So we'll select that, and we'll edit the circuit. We'll add that light, and this time we'll add the panel now that we did specify the correct distribution system. So I'll select that panel, and now you'll see once I did that, I don't have a warning anymore, and now I can finish that circuit. 
So now when I hover, hover over any of those elements that we just added to that circuit, I can hit tab and you'll see we've got our circuit shown here. So I can click on this and you'll notice once I click on that, the hidden line still appears and it still shows us our circuit. One neat thing we can actually do is you'll see here we have different wire types call out. We have an arc wire and we also have our chamfered wire. So if we did want to create a plan that actually shows the wiring path, I can simply click on one of these and you'll see the wire path. But generally um, doing this in a more complicated setting can cause a lot of confusion with all the different line work and different circuits and different things that are connected. So I really don't want it at this point. It can really make my drawing really busy here. So let's uh, take the same approach we just did uh, with our lighting and let's set up a circuit really quick for our receptacles. So this time I'm gonna select all the receptacles that we have in place, simply holding down my control key. I'm gonna hit my power button. And the only thing I need to do now is select a panel for these to be powered by that panel. And again, our hidden line shows and you could see our hidden line shows the connection between all of our electrical devices. So one last thing we need to do before we finish out the circuit for this utility room is we need to create a switch type relationship with this lighting. So now I can select all the lighting that we created in that circuit. And once I do that, I can now hit the switch button here. And what that's gonna do is gonna allow me to create a switch system for my lighting fixture. So I'll select that. Once I do, my next step is gonna be select a switch. And our switch is this one in this case. And once I select that, Revit does a really nice job of creating a hidden, hidden dashed lines that show me that this light switch turns on this, this, and that light switch, and that light fixture. So with these basic concepts in mind, we're ready to finish out the rest of the suite. But in the rest of the suite, we're going to apply some calculations and some code concepts to create a circuit that is code compliant and safe. So I will see you in the next.